Welcome back to yet another video here on the coaching channel. Today's going to be a little bit different. I was inspired. We had a really good conversation with some clients inside the coaches you, and it inspired me to just whip up three or four quick little slides here so I can stay on track, stay on pace and tackle a, a, a problem that that's so ingrained in society and in our brains. And I think it's very human to have this problem versus feeling of being behind. And I'll explain this in a moment, but we could expand this to a feeling of lack, a feeling of scarcity, a feeling of desperation. And I have found a very simple way. We can almost call it a framework. And it's really just two questions that I ask myself to get out of that state almost instantly. And it takes some reprogramming of what we think are our definition of success and what our definition of progress is and what our definition of winning is. And I know this is an important topic because our clients are entrepreneurs. Our clients are building businesses. I'm building a business. We always have bigger dreams, bigger goals. We're spiritual beings who are looking for expansion. So we kept setting bigger goals, but the dark side of that is now the goals can remind us that we're not there yet that I don't have five clients, 10 clients. I'm not making 10 grand or hundred grand or a million bucks, or I'm not, and it can, uh, or look at, they got a bigger following or look at the social media or look at the program or my program could be so much better. The list goes on. That's not bad, but it's our relationship with that, that leads us astray and, and saps. If I can say that word saps, I don't know, steals our energy and we start focusing on the wrong thing, which is how far we have to go instead of focusing on the right thing, which is doing the thing we need to do right now to move us closer. So I hope you find this video helpful. Just got two or three slides to keep me on track here. Success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Earn light again. I remember when I read that quote, this is probably six years ago, I read that and I started working on reshaping my definition of what success is. I thought success was getting something. I bought my first condo. I don't know. I was like 24 or something. I banked my first hundred K in a bank account right before I bought that condo. When I was like 23 working on the oil rigs, I had two vehicles. I had two motorcycles. I kept thinking that it was these things that equaled success. And when other people started telling me, I remember even my parents being like, Oh, you're doing so well, AKA like you're really seeing success. And inside I felt dead. I felt like the least successful person on the planet because I have so many inner demons. I wasn't happy. I wasn't waking up excited. I had a lot of anxiety. I had a lot of stress. I had a lot of fear. I was thinking negatively all of the time. I always saw the worst case in everything. And I was like, this, if this is what success is, I don't want any of it. And that's when I obviously got into more personal development and I read this, success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal, meaning success is moving towards progressive, even if it's one small step, towards the realization, towards the creation of a worthy ideal, something that I want, a career, a job, a business that I want, a life that I want, that I envision. And if I can move closer to it, if I can make the choice in the morning to move closer to it, I am successful. No matter what anyone else says, I am successful. In fact, I feel successful because I feel in control. I'm making a choice to move forward. And I don't, I remember, and, and I'll, I'll just share this really quick here. When I quit the oil rigs, I started a business, uh, got into massive debt, had to sell my apartment, not to like bank money, but to pay off this debt. I had a small uh, RSP from the rigs that um, was like my backup backup plan. So I had like a bit of a cash cushion there, but I had a brand new Jeep, had to sell it. I had two motorcycles, had to sell them. It's, I started selling and giving away every, I was basically losing everything that I thought success was. And I was, I've, I've never been happier. I felt free because every single morning I woke up at like 4.30 or 5 a.m. And I went after what it is I wanted. At one point I was driving an old Chrysler van and I'd go see clients. And I, 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 I swear with every cell in my body that, it was one of the happiest times in my life because I felt fully in control that I was going after something that I wanted. 
I woke up every single morning. I remember going, there was a community center and that's where I got a gym pass because it was like 20 bucks a month. So I, I obviously didn't have any resources. I think rent, I was paying 800 a month and we were splitting it in two. So like, and, and I was stressed about paying rent at times. So you can just kind of get an idea where my head was at, like trying to earn a thousand or 1500 bucks. I, I worked for a dude who um, I was delivering furniture and building it for Canadian Tire, which is kind of like a Home Depot, so to speak, or kind of like a Walmart ish if you're in the states and i negotiated that i could work my own hours so i could go see clients i could work my business when i wanted i was so happy there was times where i was stressed i was facing a lot of obstacles but i was happy because i was a i was a success i was a massive success my net worth was probably negative but it was the progressive realization of a worthy ideal and i was happy and it's so easy to forget that i forget it now because i do have resources i do have um you know bank accounts and corporate accounts and balance sheets and, and multiple six figure crypto accounts. And the fear of losing that can sometimes uh, creep in. So what do I do? And, and just to give you an idea, we all have goals and targets. I'm not making those wrong. We should have big goals and targets. So here's a short list of some of the things that I write down every single morning to powerfully serve 10,000 clients. A $10 million per year company, $2 million net worth, 10X speaking opportunities per year, high level speaking opportunities. I'm on my way to attaining these things, but I haven't attained them yet. And I look at it and sometimes the feeling of I'm not there yet, or I should be further along creeps in for me as well. Thoughts don't have to control you, but you will have these thoughts. Anyone who says like, I'm perfect and I don't have negative thoughts is, is obviously lying, but we want to turn this around. And I remind myself of just a few things. If so if I feel any anxiety or feelings of lack or behind this, it's a word I made up. I remind myself of three things. What is my definition of success? My definition of success is ultimately freedom. What does freedom mean to me is waking up and choosing to move forward towards what it is I want, whether we're going through a, a, a good season or a bad season, whether things are coming to me or flowing out of me, whether my bank accounts are stacking up or stacking down, whether we have a lot of expenses, whether we see red on the balance sheet. It's so easy to tie your net worth with your self-worth or with success and material things like bringing in material things to like the definition of success it's not then i remind myself of number two it's not about the goal it's about the growth you me everyone who's in this game is here thinking that we set these material goals and these targets thinking it's the material thing we want but it's just the physical manifestation of something much deeper, which is a spiritual desire, a soul desire for growth. And so we set these big targets. I set a million dollar company because I know the growth I have to go through. Leadership, teams, little pods of teams, and um, me pouring into other leaders in the company and bringing that up is going to force massive growth for me. And that's ultimately the reason I want it. Sure, the money will be nice, and I'll be able to have a few extra things that maybe I don't have now. But that's not the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is growth. And I remind myself of that. And then I remind myself of the final truth that will always bring me back to a state of expansion and growth. And that's, you don't take it with you. Topic not many people like to touch on, but it's true. You don't take it with you. You and me are both going to be dead in a hundred years. Fact. Fact. Like take that in for just a moment. You and I are going to be dead. And everyone you know is going to be dead. Now, that can create you know, anxiety and fear, and, and I get it, if we dwell on it too long, or it can create the sense of freedom. You can't really, for lack of a better term, you can't fuck this up. You can't, you can't mess this up. It's impossible. You can't mess life up. You can't fail at life as long as you're growing, expanding, serving, helping, exploring, making it an adventure. You can't mess it up. Now, of course, we want to be, um, have, a, have a comfortable physical experience, especially when we grow older and we think about this whole thing that people talk about retirement. I get that. And, and we need to set those targets. I have those targets. But if those targets start using us, we're not using them, they're using us, you're, you're, you're a failure. It, that, that's failure. Stressing about your 
you're, 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 that you're not there yet. That's like failure. That's, that's, that's living in a self-created hell, a self-created prison. In fact, most people are prisoners. We look at people in jail and we're like, ah, poor them. Like most of us are living in a prison, a mental prison, which can be worse because it can torment you day and night. There's that, that beautiful song. It talks about like the, the, the worst thing is not about being behind bars and looking out. It's being outside the bars thinking you're free when you're fundamentally not. I felt called to share this because I go through this process as well. There are times where I am a prisoner of my mind and I, I simply just go through this simple framework. I remind myself of what's important. I journal for 10, 15 minutes. And then I ask myself, am I today, am I moving closer towards the realization of what I want, my worthy ideal? And if the answer is yes, I'm filled with joy and expansion. Let's go. If the answer is no, I reassess, reschedule my calendar. And I move towards my goal, which is all about growth. And I remind myself, I don't take any of this with me. And no one's going to care about me in 500 years, 200 years. No one's going to care about me. And that creates a sense of freedom to just create, to make the most out of every second, every minute of the day. It's so freaking precious. We, we, we value dollars over our time. It's the stupidest thing. And yet we're all guilty of it at times. We would rather... We, would, we, we feel more pain losing money than we do losing time. And money you can make more of, infinitely more of. Time, it, it's, it's actually impossible. Maybe you can buy back some time by getting healthy, by exercising, by like, you know, getting five or 10 years of your life, quitting smoking, all that stuff. Sure, we could, you gain a little bit of time, but fundamentally, 100 years tops, dunsies. You can't get your day back. Let's just make better choices moving forward. Hope that serves in some small way, maybe a big way, and maybe it's just a reminder. LucasRubers.com for anything else. Like this video. What'd you get out of it? Let me know in the comments. We are really focused on this YouTube channel. I really enjoy making videos on this YouTube channel. So feel free to engage. Help us out. Share this video with someone who could use it, who could use this reminder. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, I'm not sure what to say by now. Disappointed. Just kidding. Subscribe if you like it, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Now, right before you go, I did want to invite you to check out the Coaches University. It is our hybrid, holistic, high-level coaching program. Hybrid meaning we do group sessions and one-on-one -on -one sessions. Now, because of the one-on-one -on -one nature of the work we do, we do cap enrollment to 12 new coaches every single month. But if this content's been resonating with you, if you are looking for support and you are looking for more information on what we do, how we do it, how we work with clients, then I'll leave a link for the Coaches University application page around this video. On this page, you're going to get, again, more information on us and how we do and what we do, but also hundreds of case studies, testimonials, videos, and screenshots of coaches and clients who are literally winning from scratch, building coaching businesses that bring them 8,000, 10,000, 15, 20, 25, $50,000 per month. And a lot of these coaches started with absolutely zilch, with nothing, with zero. And they're going on to build profitable and sustainable online coaching businesses. So if you'd like to apply or just learn more information about the Coaches University, then check out the link around this video, check out the Coaches U. And if it resonates with you, book a call with us and we'll be chatting with you soon. Appreciate you. Peace.